Hi guys and girls. I have wrapped up there a computer. The thing is, I don't know what it is. Um, the story is, well it's not a story, the thing is, fingers crossed, touch wood, and I'm so hoping this goes through, my mum and stepdad brother and sister should be moving to town. They should be exchanging with a woman in town um, who's in a three bedroom house who needs to downsize and my mum needs to expand so but she's a bit of a hoarder so there's a load of crap there. She's got a big old skip in the garden and this PC was in it and she let me take it. And I took the monitor as well, because I am short on monitors, hence the uh, stand. Didn't take the cables, because I've got enough bloody cables. So, I haven't actually unwrapped it, I just literally today picked it up, bought it at home, chucked it on here. And, uh... Me and stepdad should be going back tomorrow to help her clear a bunch of stuff. So that I know is the monitor, we'll unwrap that in a minute. This is the interesting piece. It's been rained on, but I think if we, uh, you know, if I let it dry out, it'll be fine. Give me a bit of water. Just don't turn it on until it's dried out. So I have no idea what brand it is, how old it is. I've got a funny feeling it's a Dell. Because there was a Dell keyboard there. It is a Dell. With a mouse, wireless mouse thingy in the back. But uh, I very much doubt I'm going to find that. That's a Silvercrest as well, same brand as mine. That's how much wireless thing. Yeah, this is wet. So I have actually had one of these in the past. Actually I had two and I got rid of them. So this has got a Windows Vista sticker on it. That can go in the bin. So, did they actually buy a full Dell setup? So I know this is going to be at least DDR2 with a RAM with a dual core processor. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's far too wet to turn on, so I'm going to take the cover off in a minute. One, so we can have a look, and two, lean off the dry off. What is it, though? It's a Dimension C521. No card reader on it, but it does have a DVD ROM on it. It's just a DVD ROM, compact disc rewire. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of water on this. AMD Sempron. Right. Yeah. I feel like I'm unwrapping birthday presents or Christmas presents or something now. Yay, what have you got me? But like I said, I didn't bother with any of the cables or the keyboards. I might tomorrow when we go back. Depends. Well, I didn't like the keyboard that was in the skip anyway, so... This was wrapped in bubble wrap as well. Is it? It is a complete Dell setup. Because that's a Dell monitor. That is actually relatively dry. That just goes on there like that. So, I've got another monitor. Yay! <laughs> so I could, in fact... Put my other PC back to dual screen and put this one on the other system. So, yeah, that is actually relatively dry. It's this that's got damp, probably because it was just wrapped in that whatever it was. I'm not sure what it was. It's not a blanket, I think it was a curtain or something. Right. Pretty certain this is the side that comes off. I said I had two of these and I got rid of them. I wish, and I wished I hadn't gotten rid of one. I wish I'd kept one for the collection, but now I've got another one. 
Right, so we've only got two sticks of ram in here. Oh yeah, it's all soaking wet in here as well. I might go sit this down by the bathroom radiator actually. Because there's no chance I'm turning this on. But, uh, oh, it's only got a gigabyte of RAM on it. Well, I can actually change that, so... <coughs> yeah, so it's only got a gig on there. Not a problem, like I said, I can change that. I can change that to possibly three gigs. The power supply is a bit dusty. I'm pretty certain I do have a spare supply for one of these. There we go, turn it up so you can see it. Turn it up right so you can see it. Zoom you in as well. So that's what's inside this. I don't know if you can actually see it on camera, but that is sopping wet. But uh, I'm going to let that dry. Like I said, I'm going to stand it like this in front of the bathroom radiator. Freaking camera cut off. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to go and stand this like this in front of that bathroom radiator. I'll crank the radiator up on full. And uh, I'll dry this out. I wonder what hard drive it's got in there, as in size. And I've got that slot here where a floppy drive would have gone. So I could either put a floppy drive on it for the sheer hell of it, or perhaps see if I can get one of my card readers on there. As I've got a bunch of them. I've actually got one, two, three, four at least up here. is actually bigger than the front of this so I uh, oh, I've still got you zoomed in haven't I oops there we go yeah that cover on the front here is actually bigger than this but it's easy to dismantle it anyway you don't need tools you just pull that up slide that back and there's the hard drive so we've got a Western Digital in here I'm guessing that's only something like an 8... No! It's a 320 gigabyte drive in it! Ooh! If this is actually on Windows Vista and it does work, then I might just leave it exactly as it is and just upgrade the RAM. But, uh... But, uh, so I was distracted by the front cover there. I'm not sure how this would have wrapped. Ran on one gig of RAM. I mean, this must have been a... F I know Windows Vista was um, rather, you know, hungry on the resources and whatnot. I'm sure that's meant to go a bit further forward, isn't it? Isn't it? No? That's oh, locked in there, so I'll leave it as it is then. Right, so that's out of the question. So these sorts of Dells were never really designed to be upgraded by that much. I mean, you can upgrade the RAM. Like I said, there's four DIMM slots in here. Um, two with white clips, two with black clips, so I presume dual channel. That's usually the reason they do that. So you'd put... A, you know, a matching rated pair in each. This one, this one should be. It was 4200, so it's not bad speed-wise for DDR2. So I'll probably put that back in and go and get the other two gigs I've got and add in here as well. If they're 4200, mind you, on two different channels, that might be okay. Might. It's got a spare Molex connector here, and it's even got a floppy drive connector. For some obscure reason. That, yeah, that is just soaking. Absolutely, everything is just dripping wet in here. So 
It's got a PCIe slot for a video card. It would have to be a low profile one to go in here. Not sure I'd really need that. If I could find one cheap enough on eBay at some point, I might just stick it in for the hell of it, but I don't really think. It's even got an IDE header there. It actually looks like a floppy drive IDE header. Yeah, I suppose that would be, wouldn't it, as it's got the power cable. I don't know if there was a version of this that actually came with the floppy disk drive installed. I'm going to actually look to see if I can get the card reader on there. Then again, yes I can. I was just looking to see if there was a USB header on the board. There is actually one right at the back here. So, I could. I could potentially do that if I wanted to. That's what I like about these Dells as well. Like I said, no tools. To get both the hard drive, well, the floppy drive, if it was there, and the CD drive, you just lift up this. That's all it is. And then you slide it back and pull it up. Simple. The same with putting in the upgrade cards because there's a PCI slot here as well. But it's just got a it's just got a little lever there. You can just pull that up. You know, take out whichever blank you don't need and slot in your card. Push the clip back down. No screws required. I, mean, I could easily, easily sell this one. I could upgrade it to something like Windows 10 or something and easily sell it. In fact, it would still sell Windows 7. But out of all the OS CDs I've got, I don't actually have a Windows Vista. <laughs> or Windows 8 or 8.1. I don't have any of those. I sort of bypassed those. Mainly because they were getting bad reviews and whatnot, so I just thought, nah. You know, I never upgraded to Vista because XP was still working perfectly fine while that was out, so I thought there's just no need. And I was late upgrading to Windows 7. And then basically skipped 8 and 8.1 and went to Windows 10 because it was offered for free as <laughs> a free upgrade, so I was like, yeah, I'll take that. Anyway, that's it for this little video. I'm going to go dry this out because I need to head to the um, bathroom direction anyway. And I uh, guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video. So, thanks for watching.